Hello guys. <clears throat> so now I uh, want to show to you uh, how I burn my suppressor diode. And uh, let's see how it works. Here's my uh, test circuit. I have here a rectification, a smoothing capacitor, uh, a fuse, a load, 280 uh, ohms, and here's my suppressor diode. It is a P6TA, um, 6.8 volts uh, breakout voltage. So if the voltage here uh, is bigger than nearly 6.8 volts, it will uh, pass the current flow through the suppressor diode and will short out this uh, load and um, with this uh, we uh, secure this load uh, from over voltage and um, yes uh, I realized this on my breadboard here here's a it's clear right <laughs> no uh, I know it's a little bit uh, not uh, clear that's why I make my my uh, drawing here for you and what I want to do is I, you see here is my lord and here is the suppressor diode and I uh, pick up uh, the voltage here on the lord and I pick up the voltage on the uh, suppressor diode and uh, when I go to my oscilloscope here, I have both channels. And let's see what happens when we uh, put a voltage on this circuit. So in the first test, I will put 5 volts here. And um, then let's see, uh, we will see what the what, uh, uh, voltage is here in the on the load and in the second step I will rise this voltage here to 12 volts and let's see what happens with the suppressor diode with 12 volts I can say only two words burn burn <laughs> and here we can start now this uh, experiment uh, I have uh, my 5 volt ready here, but still not connected. But see what happens when I connect 5 volts on this circuit. So here we go. So we have here 3.2 volts on the Lord. So everything is okay. And also 3.4 volts on the suppressor diode. So everything is okay and uh, even the circuit uh, when I switch the camera one second I will switch the camera now and here it, it is it's working everything seems to be fine and now I will um, Put the 12 volts on the, on the circuit and see what happens with the both um, pickups. Uh, so, yeah, we have nothing because um, we have nothing now. In this first moment, uh, you see the uh, oscilloscope uh, was. Uh, um, showing us something but in the uh, second minute we see nothing it's because this fuse here uh, is uh, yes it's uh, the fuse protect the circuit and uh, shut uh, cut off this uh, circuitry so that's why nothing we can, we can see nothing and even the suppressor diode is okay in this uh, condition. So we secure the load 
we protect the load from over voltage and this fuse here protect the suppressor diode uh, from uh, burning out as you can see here this is the circuit we used and um, here I make a screenshot of the video here's a moment where the suppressor diode was protecting our load and as you can see 6.8 volts my oscilloscope measures in, at this moment and just seconds after the voltage drops but what happens in the next step when we remove this uh, fuse here what do you think <laughs> When we remove this fuse here and continue um, with our tests and uh, put a 12 volt voltage here, the suppressor diode will burn. And that's what I want to show to you in the next step. Now, let's see what happens with my suppressor diode here when I put uh, 12 volts on the circuit. So here, 12 volts and uh, without the fuse. I remove this fuse now and uh, instead of that I have here the wire only and uh, the full load will uh, the suppressor diode here will uh, short uh, the circuit in, at this point and uh, you will see how how the diode will burn so let's see what happens so i put now my 12 volts on it and uh, i have also here my uh, oscilloscope and uh, i will show to you or tell the values during this test so let's start one two three so here it is and my suppressor diode shows me eight volts and look at that it's burning nice yay burn baby burn <laughs> it smells very terrible man <laughs> yeah and the Lord has a voltage now at uh, one volt still the circuit tree is on and I finished now because even this uh, wires here getting really hot. So, as you see, we destroy the uh, suppressor diode. So let me get my camera. Yeah, you see, it's it's down. It's it's dead now. So that's why, guys, why it is important to use a fuse when you use also a suppressor diode. So this is something you already know probably. So thank you for watching and see you next time.